Welcome Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support. All right, Aquarians. All right, this is the month of February, Aquarians. And in the month of February, we are going to be looking at what is transpiring in your world. Um, you need to understand that changes is coming up each and every month. We come in each and every month or materialistic stability in a business and in wealth always change. So we have to understand where we are. Okay. So Aquarius, um, what we see you coming in with, with multiple opportunities. So for the Aquarians that was um, wanted to create some sort of a business, um, wanted to go in business for yourself, I see a lot of changes is going to be coming up for you. And uh, this is going to be good. So multiple opportunities are here. Aquarians, take it, take it, take it, take it and go with it. Whatever is happening and transpiring. Just take these opportunities that is coming in and go with it. So, so um, then we see you um, using the sword of truth in the first week. And that is going to be good. So in the first week, you're using the sword of truth um, to um, speak up um, to a Libran, whoever this Libran is and whatever is transpiring. I see you using the sword of truth to, to make things clear to a Libran. Whatever is happening in transpiring, Aquarians, um, I see you really standing your ground and making sure that people understand where they are with you. I see in the first week also you're trying to take down um, the King of Wands, whoever this King of Wands is. People are recognizing some sort of a unfair game. Um, maybe this was a boss or this was someone who was working at your company. Um, they're now recognizing something about this man and his work. And they're recognizing that uh, this man is not on top of his game. So I see you, Aquarian, extending your ground and removing this person um, from a work environment because you recognize that this person either hasn't been honest, hasn't been fair, and you are deciding to move in and take this person down. Um, so a lot of you who were dealing with some sort of a problem with this, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person, this person could have been your boss. This person could have been someone who was creating obstacles for you at the workplace. I see you are going to be standing your ground against this person and let this person recognize uh, how far to go and uh, advise them as uh, towards the next step. Then I see in the second week, a lot of worries, um, a lot of worries, so, um, sleepless nights, um, worried about uh, um, your position, worried about uh, if uh, your position is going to be continuing, seeing that the situation that is going on. A lot of you are very, very worried. And uh, it could have been that whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarius man is, has been creating a, ho a whole lot of issues for you guys. So when we look at the second week, the second week is worries. And it is a uh, worries that is uh, creating a uh, and making you have sleepless night. Is it a business partner? Is this your supervisor? Is this just someone who um, basically is coming at you for no reason? But I see you're going to be standing your ground. So, and this is going to be good. So in the third week, I see some of you are recognizing that this person could be leaving. And uh, um, it is, you know, you are happy um, that this person is going to be leaving because this person has been creating a whole lot of issues for you. A lot of you in the third week, I see you are at the point where you could be thinking about, okay, if this person doesn't all up, I'm going to be walking away from this job and this position because I can't deal with this person anymore. So however it is coming up for you, Aquarians, you got to recognize uh, um, that you have the sword of truth, okay? You um, are expert at what you do. You have the skills and knowledge. So don't stand up and walk away from any position or any department or any 
um, issues on the work floor because you need to understand, hey, I know what I'm all about and uh, this situation that is transpiring, this person needs to recognize uh, that I have the skill and knowledge and not to uh, hold me back, not to put me down because I'm good at what I do. So I see that in the fourth week, uh, a huge um, conflicts could be coming up, uh, arguments, conflicts, uh, and uh, um, you Aquarian is just using the sword of truth to let people know how far to go because people are now recognizing the unfair game that has uh, played and the unfair situation that was transpiring in your world. And you are going to be making it uh, aware to other people um, as what has been transpiring and how you have been um, used and abused and letting people recognize uh, the unfair games that was happening around you. So I see you Aquarians is going to be really using the sword of truth in order to make sure that people are aware of uh, the unpleasant situation that this person has uh, placed you in and have created for you, okay? So um, this is um, extremely, extremely wonderful because what you Aquarian is doing is making sure that people are aware of how um, you have been mistreated and abused um, in order for someone else uh, to receive uh, their pleasure. It's as if they use uh, um, their powers uh, um, to accomplish and create uh, um, problems around you, Aquarian, in order for them to feel much better about themselves. So what we're understanding here and what we're recognizing here is that uh, um, you can see that uh, a whole lot of opportunities, especially for business people, um, business Aquarian, you're going to be having a whole lot of opportunities, a whole lot of job offer um, to pick from and a whole lot of opportunities for self-employed people. This is uh, to be seen. This is recognized in this month. So this month is coming in uh, with wonderful positive energies. Uh, but as we look at uh, um, the energy, we see the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups is uh, because of this man. Whoever this man is and whatever this man was doing, this man has been creating a whole lot of issues, emotional issues for you that when you go home and is, you know, trying to um, have rest, the things that this man is doing is affecting you and is giving you some sort of a worries and sleepless nights. So if you recognize the power of what this man is doing, is trying to um, shake you shake you off the ground and you're going to be taking back your power and is going to be recognizing what this person has been doing and how this person tried to create um, issues and problems and things that is not there and you're going to be bringing back that in balance so recognize how people will cr create issues around you in order to um, self um, uh, absorb and facilitate anger towards you and you're going to be recognizing this and pulling this back so that you can move through the energy on a really positive energy and understand um what it is that you need to do so um who are you going to be dealing with and what is going to be transpiring you have two major or corner and the major or corner has to do with uh, some sort of an ending is coming in um, but this ending is not for you. This ending is for someone else. Okay. So there's definitely endings that is coming in, but the endings, what is, is coming in is for someone else at the workplace that some sort of an ending is going to be coming down. So if you look at the energies that is around you, the work is uh, coming to you. So someone could be leaving and you are going to be getting their position or you have to take over their work. That's why some of you are just worried, worried sick about what is happening and transpiring. Who you're dealing with, um, you Aquarian, in this month of February, you're dealing with a Scorpion, um, you're dealing with a Libran, um, you're dealing with a Virgo. A tower moment could be coming down for a Virgo and a Aries Leo or Sagittarius man. 
something is happening for a Pisces also. Um, a Pisces could be giving a whole lot of you a whole lot of worries. A lot of you could have a um, to do deal with some of you a Pisces, some of you a Aries, a Leo or Sagittarius. And whatever is happening and transpiring, I see the Queen of Swords is really you, um, a Sagittarian or Aquarian. Oh my God, I hope I said Aquarian because this is the Aquarian reading. You Aquarian are really standing your ground and making sure that whatever um, instability that was happening um, and whatever instability that other people were bringing in, you're recognizing this and you're aware of this and you are bringing some sort of a balance in this situation in order for you to recognize your direction and create your wealth and financial stability. So I see a lot of uh, you Aquarian, what is going to be transparent is that a lot of work is going to be coming to you. So if you notice, you recognize that what is transparent is that a lot of people, um, you know, you're coming in with a whole lot of offers. It's as if the doors are opening up and with the doors being opening up, this is helping you Aquarian to exhilarate in a very powerful way in order to protect um, your financial stability. OK, so this is why I say to you, do not let people from the workplace is going to be creating issues so that you walk away from your your job because um, you are supposed to let people know how far to go. So whatever is happening and transpiring and however people is reacting to you, you're going to be at the point that you're recognizing, hey, um, I do not accept this situation and I want to trans transformate, transmate a lot of things, the changes that is coming in so that I can bring the proper balance for my emotional stability at the workplace. So you have to be aware of this and recognize this and let no one, you know, push you around, walk around you, um, you know, try to create some sort of a, um, uncalled for energy that is not, uh, um, it, it, you know, that is not called for. I recognize this and let people know how far to go. And as you do this, you're going to be recognizing, Aquarian, that people um, give you the room and space for you to grow because it's all about growing. It's all about recognizing where you need to grow in your career, where you need to grow in your um, um, your um, your your life because that is what help you to create the wonderful stability in your world. So do not let anyone, um, you know, create problems, issue for you, because you're going to be understanding that, you know, I have the power to make the changes. And these changes that you're going to be making is changes that is going to be helping you to recognize that uh, you are equipped with everything that you need and uh, you can use this uh, to take yourself to another level in order to create uh, financial stability for you. So I see a um, wonderful um, situation is going to be transforming, especially in your career and your work life. A lot of you um, are going to be recognizing that I have always had the power. I thought I had no power, but I have always had the power to make changes and to create changes in my world. So Aquarians, this is going to be a very, very good month. A good month in the sense that you are letting people know how far to go with you and letting people recognize that I know I have the skills and knowledge in order to prepare myself for any duties that I'm called for. So you are really um, not being uh, disrespectful, but just standing up and showing up um, the on um, the undesirable way that people um, 
show you appreciation and you're letting people know I have the knowledge, okay? So just hold on that, Aquarians. If you'd like to see the energy of uh, the extended of this reading, please use the link, um, join the blue button. I um, A lot of people have been asking, <laughs> where is the blue button? But if you go on um, the beginning of uh, the homepage, you will see the blue button. One says join, one says subscribe. I love you guys. I gotta go. Namaste. Until next time.